I'm waiting on y'all to come on in. Hold on, guys. Oh, let, me turn, on you guys oh, oh, let me turn my thing down. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's up, fam? Good morning. It's pretty early. I had to get on early. I was I was about to do another live last night right after my main broadcast on YouTube, but it was getting late. So I said, I just wait until in the morning. What's going on, family? How's everybody doing? Shout out to the family here. What's up, nice to girl? I see you. Yeah, we got we got to address some stuff here. We got to address some stuff. What's up, Rashawn? Y'all good this morning? I hope everybody's good this morning on this holiday weekday. Hope everybody's kicking in and enjoying themselves with the family. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, just waiting on everybody to get in here. Everybody retweet this. Let everybody know that we're live right now. What's up, D Tubman? I see you. So let, let's get right into what we got to discuss now. Have I know some of you guys have seen the video going around of a Somalian woman who got hit by a brick. I saw it last night, right after I did my live, and I'm like, okay, look, there's a big discussion going on about what happened, and people are dragging foundational Black Americans into this stuff. Now, for those who don't know what's going on, um, last night a video came out of this woman who was in a hospital, black lady, and she was yelling about, oh, my God, uh, somebody hit me in the face with a brick. Some dude hit me in the face with a brick because I wouldn't give him my number. And whoop de whoop all these and a bunch of black men standing around. <clears throat> she was like, yeah, a bunch of black men stood around and did nothing. A bunch of black men stood around and did nothing. Now, family, when I saw the first video of her in the hospital, her face was swollen. Immediately, I said, this is some tether stuff. Immediately, right away, I said, this is some tether that hit this woman with a brick. Or some non-FBA dude that hit this woman. The way she was describing it, I immediately knew it was a non-FBA situation. Immediately. And then taking a look at her, I'm looking at her features, I'm like, okay, she looks non-FBA. So most likely, most non-FBA people, they hang out in non-FBA circles and then they get into non-FBA shenanigans. So more videos started coming out. Some of her social media, and we'll get on that in a minute because she's talking real crazy on her social media, not to justify that woman getting hit by a brick. And uh, nobody deserves that at all. But we as foundational Black Americans don't deserve to be pulled into some tether shit. And, and a lot of people are drawing the line, and that's where the discussion is. A lot of us foundational Black Americans are like, hey, that's a you problem. That's y'all. So the woman gets hit by a brick. So videos are coming out. She's like this real hardcore feminist. She's Somalian. She has a bunch of videos where she's talking about she's a lesbian. She's LGBT and... Um, um, the black women protect the black community. The women protect the community. It was just a whole bunch of feminist talking points. All right, that, knock yourself out. Yeah, people are, whatever your opinion is, that's your opinion. She's talking about how the community is protected by women and studs and whatever. Knock yourself out. And the video of when she got hit by the brick came out. She, it looked like there was some kind of nightclub somewhere, some kind of little dusty, janky little club somewhere. I don't know what city it's in. But she comes out of the club and then she shows the aftermath of her getting hit by a brick. And she's like, hey, look, somebody just hit me with a brick. And look at all these black men standing around. And all the niggas got accents. All right. So it's a whole bunch of non-FBA niggas standing around like we knew. And from what I gather, the dude who actually hit it with the brick is a Haitian dude, which, again, we knew. We knew this was some non-FBA stuff. So now the discussion turns to the black man and the black man don't be protected nobody. Then it falls on the black man, which by default is something that's critical of foundational black American men. And we're saying, no, 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 no. Y'all not going to put this on us. No, 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 no. See, those days are over where 
the bullshit and the shenanigans go on with these weird non-FBA people. They engage in some of the most degenerate behavior, weirdo stuff. And then when something goes left, then we have to hold the bag and we have to hold the stigma. No. We're not playing that game. I immediately knew this was some non-FBA nonsense. You know why? Because we don't. Foundational Black American men generally don't go around hitting women with no damn bricks. And y'all know it. Let's stop the bullshit. We don't go around hitting women with no damn bricks. Y'all know good and well we don't do nothing like that. That's not our culture. That's game goofy as hell. Especially if a woman don't give you her number, you're going to pull out a brick. No. We don't do that. And if a nigga who does stuff like that, he's on crack, that's crackhead stuff. And you damn sure don't do it around other FBA brothers, you would get checked for doing something like that. We don't even have that kind of energy. We That's game goofy stuff. We got more game than that. Certain things that happen, I just like, that ain't us. That's That's not us. So the thing is, these folks get into this weird behavior. And what's interesting is the woman, there's a bunch of videos of her doing these real performative skits, these where she's slapping white men. And it's all, it, it, these are skits. She does these attention clout chasing skits where she smacking white men. And I, I done told y'all about that before. When y'all see some of these women on online, kind of yelling at white men and that that's performative. That's like, um, those white men are usually their tricks. These women are engaged in like almost sex work to a certain degree where they are doing dominatrix type of things where these white men want to be dominated by these women. So they get into this performative feminism and they're doing it to entertain white men. The white men will let them smack them around and call them names and all of that. But it's all performative. So don't even trip on that. It's performative. This is like some domination sex fetish shit. So there's several, a couple of videos of her kind of smacking white men around, which is don't, that's performative. Don't even trip on that. So this woman does like a lot of little weird tether shit and a bunch of videos, not only denigrating black men, but also talking greasy about foundational black American women too. There's videos of her bragging about Somalian and Nigerian women and how good their bodies are and how American black women um, got all of their swag from transgender. I mean, she says a lot of weird stuff about us. But when something goes left, how come the black community and the black men didn't help me? You, you see, this is what I don't like. A lot of these folks go out of their way to distance themselves, not just from us, but from blackness in general. <clears throat> Remember, we've had people call up to my broadcast here, right here live. Hell, a couple of days ago, remember? It was an, uh, a woman from Kenya. We had a discussion just a few days ago. And she was like, well, you know, I don't really see myself as black. Remember? This was a couple of days ago. Yeah, I, you know, y'all over there, y'all FBAs, I mean, y'all see yourself as black. I, I, I just, I don't see myself as black. I don't identify as black. First, I'm a human being. Then I'm an African. Then I'm Kenyan. Okay. All right. Fine. A lot of these folks have that mentality where they don't see themselves as black until things go left and they want us to come to the damn rescue. And they keep trying to drag foundational black Americans into this brick gate story. We had nothing to do with this. This is something that ain't got nothing to damn do with us. This is some weird old tether shit that goes on with these weird tethers in their communities. They do all of the same weird stuff they were doing back home. They come over here and do it among themselves. And then when things go left, hey, where are the FBA niggas? You ni we're all black. Where's the responsibility? No. We ain't here to save every damn body, man. We're not here to save you because of your shenanigans. Every time y'all do some shit that goes left, y'all calling us. Y'all all in our faces trying to talk to us about fixing shit. Just like Akon and them people. If y'all come to Africa and bring some of these resources, we all be balling out. Just, uh, y'all gone somewhere. 
y'all just just go somewhere and do you, man. Stop dragging us into y'all nonsense. But we're tired. This is why we've drawn a line. We we've drawn a line, and, and there's some people where FBI, uh, Tyreek, FBA men be doing shit to women too. Well, listen, when some FBA Negroes do some real foul shit. When that ship arrived, we'll deal with it when that ship arrived. Right now, you better deal with the ship that's at the dock right now. And the woman who got hit with the brick, that's your ship at your dock. You deal with it. The Somalian community needs to have a conversation with the Haitian community and kind of figure shit out. Figure out what's going on in your community that make dudes run around here hitting women with bricks in your community. Y'all not going to sit up here under the we all black banner when y'all go out of your way to distance yourself from blackness. Because if they went out there and they did something constructive instead of hit each other with bricks, if that Somalian woman and the Haitian dudes and all of them went out there and and created some kind of feed the children program, they would be bragging about how Somalian and Haitian and Caribbean and African they are. They would be bragging now that they're out here doing some goofball shenanigans, hitting each other with bricks, all of a sudden everybody's black and the black community is the problem. Fuck out of here. Stop dragging us into y'all filth. We don't want it. Everybody has to hold their own nuts. We're not letting people dump trash on us under the banner of blackness. We're not playing the one big nigga game. We're drawing a line. If it ain't FBA, y'all hold your own nuts. Let's get some people in here to chime in. We got a lot of folks in here. All right. Let's get Chairman Shaq in here. Chairman, hop on, man. <clears throat> Chairman, hop on. Then we're hey, what's get the word, Tariq? I'm good, man. Then we're going to get Habisha King in. But what's up, Chairman? How are you, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm good. What's on your mind, man? Man, I'm nominating Jamaicans as the head of the Pan-African delegation, man. I think uh, we are the people to get our race together. I, I understand the FBA is tired of holding everybody down, but I think we are the people that uh, <laughs> can get us together. My man, let, let's get it. I would love for y'all to step up and let make some shit happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Shout out to y'all, man. You definitely will take the wheel from here. All right, brother. All right. Habisha, hop on, brother. Yes, hello, my friend. Um, <clears throat> I just woke up. Hello, my friend Tariq. Um, I'm glad to be talking to you. Yes. Now, Habisha, where are you from, by the way, sir? Um, sir, I'm from Ethiopia. Yes. Go ahead. And I want to say that woman, you know, FBA were not responsible for. First of all, let's get that clear. Secondly. She's very low class. Um, the way she acts, she's an embarrassment to the Horn of Africa. She gives us a bad name. We know it's one of our kind. Um, and we basically apologize for her nonsense behavior. It's a learned behavior. She is disgustingly ghetto for the things she did. Um, I'm angry. Um, if, if I could meet her in real life, I would do that and worse. So some of you women start acting and, 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 you know, acting like ladies. You won't get treated like that. But when you go. Thank you so much. And see, women, that, that this y'all need to holler at the dudes from your community. Because I'm not even talking about abusing the women and all that. This nigga wants to hit you with another brick. So y'all got to holler at the dudes in your community about that type of stuff. You know, that's what they do. All right. Um, lady, hop on. I, I think that the whole thing is a big chance that all this has been set up for publicity. Um, you know, potentially orchestrated another, you know, cursing wanting to become relevant and go viral. We, we just, right. We, oh, yeah. there, there, that's right. There is a possibility of that. Some people have even said that. Yeah. And we just don't know the full story yet, do we? But, we're, you know, we do, we're hearing her version and what she's trying to portray. You know, there's, there's something else definitely happened there for sure. And just with her demeanor, her attitude, the way she's speaking to the camera, you know, this is what two videos she's made now. She's she's enjoying the attention off it. Be mindful of that. Yeah. You know, she's getting this, she's definitely getting something out of this. And no, I don't think anybody should have jumped in. I don't think anybody should have defended her. Somebody who's capable of that level of violence, if that did happen, would have only have responded to somebody jumping in, um, you know, even right. potentially more violent. So no, absolutely not. I think that there's um this story's unfolding and there's more to come that we just don't know yet. 
Yes, indeed. Yeah. Some people have even suggested that. Some people like, you know, this like this might have Jesse Smollett vibes. I don't know. It looks like her face was swollen. I don't know what happened. But again, I know FBAs didn't have shit to do with it. I know that. That's the fact. Um, a caster. What's up, brother? Hey, so I'm confused. This Somali woman don't like men in general. She said out her own mouth that men are not protectors. So right. why was she expecting men to protect her in this situation? Also, we're not going to sit up here and blame this shit on black men when all I hear is foreign accents in the background. You can't shit on black men on one hand, then expect them to jump in the line of fire for you on the other hand. We are not bullet bags. We are not bodyguards. We are not obligated to protect anybody but our aunties, our mamas, or our grandmamas. I'm not going to end up in a fucking body bag for some stranger that wouldn't look my way twice. We are only pr responsible for our women. They're going to have to hold their own uh, nuts and take this L. Thank you so much, Acaster. Man, um, 215, hop in, brother. Yeah, brother, what's going on, brother Tariq? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. What's on your mind? Hey, peace to the family. Peace to the family. Yeah, man. Um, I feel like this is a, a pure setup, man. We already know. We already done been down this road before. This is just a pure setup. Um, the people from the dominant society have sent her. You know, they send their tethers to sit here and undermine us. All she's doing is is trying to get on this bandwagon of blame the black man, blame the black man. And we literally have nothing to do with this situation <coughs> whatsoever. So it's a continuous right. cycle that we see over and over again. And there's nothing new to us. And one more thing, brother, did you see, um, brother Don Lemon and, um, what's the presidential candidate name? Um, Vivac? yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see their debate on CNN the other day? I didn't see it, but, um, I've, I've heard about it. So I got to check it out. Let's get, um, I'm going to get um, Mulan Rose and then I'm going to get Nikki in. I want to say this. Um, her nationality, her race, whatever it is, to me, honestly, it doesn't matter because even me, as a foundational Black American, literally, I have been threatened so many times by men um, of any race and it's so confusing to me how someone could do something like that my thing is this if you're going to sit over here and make this something that that went viral right and i saw everything that she said and even videos that she's put up and this that and other like oh my god like to me that was a lot because she honestly she put herself out there like that However, I do feel that just as humans alone, we should have a little bit more um, respect and understanding for someone having to go through something like that. Be it a woman, be it a man, whatever it is. I've experienced it with men and it's not okay. Okay. Now, the nationality does make a difference because she's engaging in behavior that culturally foundation of black Americans don't engage in. And when things go left, they want to pull us in it as if we're somehow responsible and we're simply not responsible. We can be compassionate. Hey, we don't want that to happen to you, but to hold us under the fire as if we have to do something about it as a group. Now that's crossing the line. Because okay. these people don't look at themselves as us, but they want us to come save them because they don't want to hold each other within their own culture responsible for that goofball shit that they're doing. Foundational Black Americans, if they're around, so our FBA sisters kind of know how to read the room. You can right. kind of oh, sense, sure. yeah, y'all you, you know how to read the room. You go somewhere, yeah. and you're like, hey, these are niggas I might not want to, yeah, these, <laughs> right. these, yeah, yeah. You kind of read the room. She's the kind just, just going out here doing weird shit around weird dudes that we don't know. We don't know these Negroes. She knows that culture, but she's doing this real weird performative stuff. And these dudes are already weird. So the shit goes left. Then don't start looking at us. Y'all have a cultural thing over there on that side of the fence that y'all have to deal with. Right. Please don't bring us into it. Again, 
We don't co-sign that. I would never sit around and let no woman get hit by no damn brick. But again, women like that don't hang around folks like me. They don't hang around foundational black Americans. They, in fact, go out of their ways to distance themselves from us. So if you distance yourself from us and you other yourself from us and you hang around other weirdos, then you have to accept what goes along with those weirdos. All right? right. No, that's understandable. So here's my thing. When something like that does happen to actual foundational Black Americans, and I've, I'm telling you, I've been in the vicinity of those who have done those types of things, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we do? And I live in the South, right? So what do we do when it comes to people doing those types of things in our faces? Because let's just let, let's just let this be an example. Yeah, maybe she was a little bit too like off off the beaten path, right? But what do we do for those who just sit over here and stay in their own like lane? And all we want is that protection. So, because that's the only reason why I have sympathy for her is because I'm not like. I, I'm from the South all day, but right. I don't, and I don't that's, move. that, And that's where your man, your dad, or your brother, or your uncle comes in. That's where the men in your they, family they comes in. I'm not around them. Like I know that, ma'am. And, and that's another thing. I saw your profile. You have a bunch of rainbow flags on your profile. I do. Right. You see? You see how you, know, you see where we're going with this, right? Okay. You yes, see where I... we're going? You got a bunch of yeah. men, and this is my point. Ain't no men in your family. There's no men no, around there are. you. There are. There are. No, ma'am. No, 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 no. Let's keep it a buck. No, you got there a bunch definitely of... are. No, let me tell you ma something. Ma'am. I promise you, there are several men in my family. My thing is, I say to myself, right, because I'm in a family full of preachers and pastors and this, that, and the other. So my thing is, that's that still should not separate me from being protected by who if you put up a rainbow flag as a woman you're saying i don't need a man i don't need these men in my family yeah, I've everybody, never said that, everybody has men in their family but do you have men in your family that's down to protect you everybody Absolutely, has Absolutely, i do but okay my, so why is the pro okay family. so so why are in what dudes are doing any harm to you and what, what are the men in your family doing about it? Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so first of all, let me just explain this to you this way. Me being who I am has nothing to do with the fact that I still love every man that I meet. That has nothing to do with that. I still love all men that are in my family, that are my friends, all of that. My thing is, I should not not be protected based off of the fact that I have a natural attraction to women. Right. Okay. Who's going to protect you? Is that woman that you land up with going to protect you? Well, first of all, I'm single, so no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> whoever. Whoever. See, this is where... But my thing is, okay, first of all, my father, he passed away. Okay. Um, My stepfather, he's been down for me, like, 1,000%. My uncle, he's always there for me. My godfather, he's there for me. So that's it's not like I don't have men in my family. My brother, he's there for me. My thing is, I'm not sitting over here living my life and I go and I see my people all the time because that's not what it is. I'm mm -hmm. just a loner. So what I'm saying is, when I do go out with my friends, no matter what they are, right? I go out with my friends and all I'm saying is when it boils down to the very nitty gritty of it all, if I sit over here and I tell a guy, I don't like men, I should not be literally like physically beaten up because of that. And most dudes, especially FBA dudes, ain't going to do that. That's not in our culture, especially if they're hanging in circles where you're hanging around, where there's going to be LGBT women and all of that stuff. No, it's, you think that I hang around nothing but LGBT? No, that's not true. Okay. Literally, it's not. So my thing is, when I'm sitting over here and I'm explaining it, I'm, and I'm trying to explain it the best what way that city, I know what, Man, but I'm trying because what city you in when niggas want to beat you up? Because you don't want to get with them. Houston, What's... Texas. My God. Okay. Well, there's a lot of tethers out there in Houston now. Okay. <laughs> well, there's I mean, a lot of damn tethers you. out there. There's a, there's, Thank that's, you. Uh, there's a, te 
man, you got dudes out there in Houston. It was a dude who um, did a, a blood ritual on some sister out there in Houston, and then he went and ran to Africa. There's a list tetherville going on. Listen, I'm there. telling you, like, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, there's some weird shit going on out there in parts of Texas and Houston. Look, and I'm I'm not against you saying that because at the end of the day, like literally, that's what we go through as women out mm -hmm. here. And my thing is, like, I get along with men better than I even get along with women. And that's the craziest part of all of this. Because my thing is this. If I'm sitting over here and I just want to have a human connection, it don't even matter about sexuality but, or nothing Ryan, like but, that. But, but, but we got to keep it a buck, though. Wait, like, I've been to Let's Houston. Houston Houston's one of my favorite cities. Let's yes. be real. Them down-home Houston, Texas brothers, they ain't trying to beat on you because you ain't getting with them. You know that. An FBA brother uh from Houston... Houston got some of the baddest fucking women in America. There's some fine motherfuckers out there that niggas can choose from. Niggas ain't tripping on no woman out in no Houston. Now, some crazy tether nigga might, but the brothers in Houston, the brothers they ain't gonna do, they're not really trying to jump on you because you, you ain't they not? Not no FBA brothers. Houston got baddies it's the out fact, there. It's dude. the fact that my stepfather literally had to come with a whole uh, blicky, literally just to protect me. All because I said I did not want to do that. Okay. All right. All right. But thank you so much, sis. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 dude. Uh, them FBA brothers in Houston. Man, have y'all, some of y'all have not been to Houston. Nigga, Houston got some of the finest, thickest, baddest damn women out there to choose from. And they're cooperative. Uh, I, niggas ain't. No. FBA brothers ain't tripping. <clears throat> they ain't about to jump out of a window over just some woman rejecting them. No FBA brothers in Houston. <clears throat> Come on. Let's talk real. I done been to Houston several times. Now, yeah, some of the tether dudes, yeah. And there's cases where these tether dudes have been abusing women, doing all types of weird shit. Yeah, they do that. There's a lot of cases of that. Some of these foreign dudes with no game jumping bad on some of the women. Yeah, there's a lot of cases of that documented. There's a lot of stories on that. See, this is why I'm saying uh, we, we got to draw the line here. We got to draw the line. And also, the thing is, man, you got the rainbow flags and a lot of that. I don't need a man and all that stuff. When then shit, who's going to protect you? If you have the I don't need a man disposition, let's get Nikki the God in here. Nikki. Peace, Tariq. A couple points I want to make here. Um, her, um, the last person, you know, she was saying, oh, we need to be more sensitive. I think a lot of people like to go with storylines. People like storylines. They like to follow narratives, this narrative, oh, the, the bad black boogeyman. And they refuse to think critically. They refuse to use deductive reasoning. Now, um, there have been several people who said that they looked this case up. They couldn't find a police report or anything like that. Right. And I saw where she was in the hospital. And, you know, you know that I would know this, that nurses, especially emergency room nurses, are mandatory reporters. You come into the emergency room, you got a big bruise on your face. Um, and if we suspect that it's a crime, <clears throat> it has to be reported. Right. So if it, if it gets reported... And, you know, there's some people who may say, I don't want to report it because it was my boyfriend, my lover or whatever. That's fine. But it would have to be reported. So I'm thinking that something is off and everyone has the right to side eye the situation and take a second look at it. And that's about all I have to say. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, dear. Let's get Brother Terrain in here. Hey, Tariq, how you doing? Peace, fam. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. I heard about the situation last night, and when I saw the videos, I knew that social media was going to be on fire with this situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, here's the thing. For, before I say anything, I want to say that nobody, no no man should hit no woman upside the head with a brick. You know what I mean? In a situation I, like that. that I, we want to we wanna lay that groundwork for, before we say anything. Um, the, sec, the other part I want to say is when you are in a situation when you're dealing with people who have absolutely no self-control and when you're dealing with people who have no discernment, what happens is, especially in these social media situations, what happens is you get one side of a story 
And it's very easy to take a story on social media and twist the story to make it say anything you want. Right. I feel like this conversation is becoming a situation about black men and black women and how black men, quote unquote, don't protect and how black women, quote unquote, feminist women don't need a man. But the truth is nobody has all the details about what went on here. You know, yeah. nobody knows who did what. Nobody knows who provoked who. And my other question is, this happened outside of a nightclub, right? Um, mm -hmm. If you're in a nightclub, where's the where's the doorman at? Where's right. the um, where's the security in a nightclub? This I saw the video of her yelling at people outside of a nightclub. I've never seen a nightclub nowhere in the country where there's not an off-duty cop or a police car from the cut somewhere. You don't see right. any blue lights. You don't see anything. I'm and just, what city? What city is all of this happening in? Apparently, it happened in Houston. That's what people are saying. Houston. Okay, got it. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, I just feel like we need to find more details of actually what went on before people get on their soapbox and start saying that black men are this and black women are that. We need to find out where she's from. We need to find out what her background is. And we need to find out who this dude is. You know what I mean? Nobody knows anything. Everybody's just talking and everybody's talking at each other. They're not talking to each other. Right. That's right. all I wanted to say. We need Thank more you. details. All right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it, if it happened in Houston, this is what I'm saying. And this goes back to the caller from earlier. There's a lot of non-FBA folks down there in Houston. And again, I was just down there working on a movie um, a few weeks ago. And a lot of my drivers were from all um, Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia. They're from all over the place out there. So you got a lot of immigrants flooding all of these towns in Texas, particularly Houston. All right. That's the fact. So if you're a woman and a dude is jumping bad at you because you ain't trying to get with him, come on now. Don't, don't put that on the FBA community. MF Kush, hop on, dear. Thank you, Tariq. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. How are you? Great. Um, listen, I, I really have an issue with the Somalian community and the man who hit this woman in the face not taking accountability for their people. At the end of the day, yeah. what this basically boils down to, Black American men have always sat there and protected Black American women. My husband's always protected me. My father's always protected me. My Black, Amer my black American brothers, even sitting here in Twitter space, have always protected me. And even my own blood brothers in real life have always protected me. So this kind of uh, this kind of false narrative that's out here being painted is mad crazy the disrespect yeah. like i said last time is going to have to stop start taking accountability for your people she's going out here with these feminist rants she's acting as if men are horrible disrespectful and degrading but yet you don't have the right to ask for protection after you disrespected a whole group of men that's mad crazy to me but she 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 probably literally just learned and fucked around and found out to be honest with you uh, mm. should not be over here talking crazy about people and then wanting, then needing their help and then crying out saying that, that well, I needed you guys to be men. No, you should have learned to just probably keep your mouth shut or probably just kept walking. That's how simple confrontation goes. But I land, thank you for letting me speak. Thank you so much. Like I said, man, earlier, FBA women, they can kind of read the room. You kind of know, hey, the energy here, I might not want to go out here talking slick around this kind of energy. Even if most FBA women, you know not to even be around certain places if the energy is off. Let's let's start there. Let's just start there. FBA women, generally, you walk into a place and you're like, eh, this shit feels weird. You walk somewhere and yeah, you kind of look at the niggas, eh, this nigga has dusty braids and dirty Air Force Ones. Eh, let me go to another club. You kind of read the room immediately. <clears throat> Now, when you look at the video <clears throat> of what went down and some of the dudes, that place looked mad dusty. It, it looks like a damn foreign country outside. Well, these niggas, these weird niggas standing around in these goofy clothes and my FBA women wouldn't be caught in no shit like that. Let's keep it a buck. You wouldn't be caught around that kind of weird energy. Let's keep it a whole damn buck. You know it was musty in there. FBA women would have smelled that must and been like, hell no. Let's go to the Waffle House. You know, you would have felt the energy and said, ah, let me take myself out of this situation. Because, yeah, this looked like it can go somewhere that I don't want it to go. But no, she's out there drinking, partying, and I'm not, you know, well, you can do whatever you want to damn do, and you shouldn't be hit with a damn brick. All right? But again, don't, you know, drag us into some shit like that. It's not our culture. Just Eve. Hop on, dear. 
Peace Street, thank you for this room. Um, we are not responsible for the shenanigans of these tethers. They run over, they flee. Look, Tariq, America needs a flea bath. I'm, I'm 100% on this right now. And these tethers, they flee over here. And they, they're coming from countries where the women, if they, if they try some stuff like this, heads roll. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Heads, literal heads roll. And then they, they come over here because y'all are not like that. And just like MF Kush was saying, I've never, ever in my 36 years on this planet have ever had an issue with a black man protecting me, even when I've been wrong. So I I just, I don't understand what she, with the woman who got hit with the brick was talking about. But maybe, maybe, here's just, it's just a thought. If you want to wear the pants, then maybe you need to learn some self-defense because I don't know that a man is going to want to protect someone else who's also wearing the pants. Mm -hmm. That's all. Black friend. You know what it, what it is, too? A lot of these women come from these countries where you know you can't jump out of a window and jump bad like that. They, they know how these dudes are. And I think when they get here, they're like, well, I got freedom now, so I can just talk as crazy as I want to talk. And the white man is going to protect me and the white feminists. And I think that has a lot to do with it. They get over here and they think, OK, well, I got freedom now so I could say the shit I couldn't say back in my homeland so I can just talk as crazy as I want to talk. And then when it goes left and they see white daddy and white mommy didn't come to the rescue, they can't go to the niggas in their community because they'll get another beating. You heard the dude who called up from East Africa. He's about to he wants to hit her with another brick. So who do they go to? They go to us. The black community. Where is the black community? No, nah, no, 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 no. Don't don't come running to us to save the day. I'm sorry. Um, war. What's your name? Um, Chairman. Yeah, what's going on, Tariq? How you doing today, man? I'm good, man. What's yeah. Uh, mind, first brother? and foremost, I just want to establish that I am, I am a Tariq Nasheed disciple, but I just wanted to get it. Get <laughs> okay, do 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 yeah, do 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 do. You're, you're, you're not witty. You're not witty. You, you tethers are not witty. You tethers are are corny. This is the problem. You guys have no game. You're not witty. You're corny, y'all. This is why your jokes fail. And then you have to reduce to just no, the so same. Anyway, like, like I was saying, like, no, 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 anyway, no, like, no, no, brother, 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 stop. This is the problem because y'all niggas don't have no game. Y'all tethers have zero game. Your mouthpieces aren't crisp. You're not witty. So when you talk to women and they reject you, you the kind of nigga that picks up a brick and tries to bust a woman in the head. You're the problem. See, this is what y'all have to deal with, women. Y'all non-FBA women, the, the goofy tether dudes within your community who ain't got no mouthpiece and they got to pick up a brick on your so ass. I'm talking to a grown ass man. He talking about how. Right, right, right. And you you sound stupid and goofy. Y'all call up with the same corny troll talking points. And that's the problem. You don't have no game. And then when y'all get around, because you can't pull that shit on me in person, because, you know, I slap the Joel off out your is that is that how but niggas be talking to you? Y'all run, run, like run up on women, you bitch ass. You the kind of nigga who runs up on a woman with a brick. And the women, y'all have to discuss the niggas within the tether community. Oh, so when them niggas be hollering at you, you don't like Dude, stop it. You sound like you got a mouthful of oxtails right now. See, you're the problem. Y'all stop hitting your women with bricks, nigga. How about you do that? All right? Calling up here with your game goofy ass. Y'all need to put the bricks down and get some game about yourself, my nigga. Anyway, so like I was saying, nigga, like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Stop speaking for everybody as if you... I'm speaking for your bitch ass. Nigga, you got curry sauce dripping from your little musty mouth. You're not witty. You're a cornball. And I wish y'all have a community conversation to get your shit together with your unwitty cornball ass. Now say something constructive, fuckboy. So like I was saying, before I was interrupted by this clearly queer homosexual man that's... Nigga, that is your granddad. Your granddad had to slang bussy for a green card, nigga. Y'all the ones who had to turn your ass up so that you can get money to flee. And that's why you're calling me whining like a bitch. You're calling another man to whine. And then when women don't want you, you hit them with a brick. You can't hit me with a brick, nigga. You know that, because I knocked the curry goat smooth out your mouth. So y'all pull up on women with this. Y'all the first shit. niggas to shoot, so shut your ass up, pussy. Anyway, like nigga, I was saying, 
like I was with your mumble saying, like mouth. I was fucking saying before you interrupted me talking about how nigga, you like. Yeah, nigga, you ain't saying nothing, Umbutu. You're just babbling your lips. You cornball fuckboy. You can you sound musty right now. All right, you sound musty, dusty, and unkempt. And you don't have anything constructive. Nigga, to you say buy cologne the from the dollar store. Um, nigga, the back of your neck looked like dipping dots because you've never had a good lineup in your life. You peasy head fuck nigga with no swag. All right. Now get your ass off my phone. All right. Let's get some more people in here. I don't want to hear no wine and tepids. All right, let me get some some sisters in here. Um, love I am. Hop on, dear. <laughs> hey, Tariq. Um, let me say this. What's happening right now is that these men, they don't know what it feel like to have to be the male group that takes have to take responsibility for everyone's degeneracy. Right. So they are actually they're very comfortable coming to this nation and evading the realities of their home country. And they can't understand why when I open that video and I look at her, I see she's not a black American woman. Immediately, I recognize that. And in the same regard, our men are doing that too. I don't want her to represent the black woman's consciousness. And I would understand why a black American man would not want uh, whoever hit her to have that to be how y'all feel about women right so the same way it took me a millisecond to disassociate myself from the fact i opened a video i knew she was somali i hear um accents in the background people are trying to gaslight us right. out of the fact that that's the first that's our consciousness towards it. And now they're trying to make it seem like it's xenophobic. They're talking about it's a psyop. The only psyop is that I open a video, I hear accents, she's a Somali, and she's saying black men and niggas. Right. That's the only psyop about it. Right, right, right. It's crazy. It's and let me say this last thing, please, Tariq. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, dear. There was a video of a Somali woman last month that got set on fire. That happened in Somalia, and we knew what community did that to her. So yeah. she had no problem garnering empathy. People are trying to act like black men just want to, someone said y'all were censoring yourself. Like y'all just get in comment sections and say, oh, that's not us. Well, y'all didn't do that with the black, with that Somali woman that was set on fire. We know who did that. And her male group, the entire comment section was full of men saying, bravo, bravo, great punishment, blah, blah, blah. Right. So they need to stop playing with us, acting like we are trying to be hateful no we're tired of taking responsibility for your degeneracy while you are not made to take any responsibility for yours right right thank you dear yeah that's the thing yeah these dudes the the dudes who do that type of stuff their communities they get to kind of sit off in the sideline and kind of hide while the spotlight is thrown on us then everybody becomes black when the shit is degenerate no 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 we're not playing that game no more if you're Somalian, when you go get a scholarship, you stay Somalian here. If you're Somalian, when you get a PhD, stay Somalian here. If you're Somalian, when you win an award, stay Somalian here. If you're whatever you are, when it's positive, you take the good and the bad. All of the positive accolades, you want to be Haitian. You want to be Caribbean. You want to be all of this stuff. If you hit somebody with a brick, well, damn, we black, man. We blacks are tripping. No, nigga. No, 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 no. Stay Haitian. As a Haitian person, you hit her with that brick. I, I'm not absorbing nobody else's negativity no more. We got to stop allowing that to happen. People want us to absorb their negative attributes. And we're saying enough is enough. Let's get, um, what's your name, brother? Decanator. Let's get Decanator. Then we're going to get Lisa. Decanator, hop on, brother. All right, well, while we're waiting on decanators, um, iPhone 1 to load up properly. Let's get Lisa. Lisa, hop in, ma'am. Oh, hi. Thank you so much for hosting this space. Um, I'm really getting tired of seeing the justification projections being projected onto our people. 
-hmm. We already know that it's not a justification. We just understand what kind of energy that sister was on. If I can even call her that, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, she didn't heal. Um, you need to be able to heal from what you went through first uh, before you speak publicly. Uh, she attracted the kind of energy that she had going on with her. And that's what we are talking about. And it's just as much a part of the conversation. And it's OK for us to say that, too. I really want to see people follow the rules of engagement a lot more. Make sure that they have comprehended what someone has said prior to responding. These people don't vibrate on the same frequency as us. And they are definitely not like minded, as we can see. Mm -hmm. Now, Lane, thank you. Listen, as Foundation of Black Americans, man, listen, listen, culturally, we know how to assess certain danger and energies when we walk into a place. OK, and we know how to kind of remove ourselves Now, you can. Sometimes you may or may not get caught slipping. But for the most part, culturally, when we go somewhere as men and women, we kind of know, hey, man, this might go somewhere. So let me remove myself from this. All right. If. I go to a city and I go to a club and I walk in and I see purple weaves and face tattoos on the women. I'm like, ah, let me let me go to another spot. Yeah, let me go to somewhere I don't want it to go. Ladies, you city, you go to a club. If you see a nigga with gold teeth and a tattoo of his baby mama on his stomach. Uh, this this might not be the spot I really want to kick it at. You understand? So you kind of feel certain energy. You feel certain vibes. You can kind of sense the minute you walk in if the energy might go left. You understand? You you kind of have an awareness of your surroundings. And again, people should be able to go and do whatever they want to do in safety. Okay? People should be able to go and do what they want to do. And also... In FBA circles, most likely people are going to know each other, especially in a local place somewhere where you, you live. People are generally going to know each other. So you're not going to jump too bad around people who know somebody who knows somebody. You see, this is how I know some of this shit that happens that's weird to some tether shit, because we don't know who these people are. Like if it's a bunch of FBA people in a room and some FBA dude hit another FBA woman with a brick. Somebody's going to know him, know his family. Somebody's going to get at that dude. There's going to be retaliation. Somebody's going to pull up at his mama house. Somebody's going to make some phone calls. P people are going to handle that. That's going to get handled if it doesn't get handled right there on the spot. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just telling you about our culture. But when you have weird things going on where you have these folks where we don't know them, nobody knows these folks. They come from other countries. We don't know where they live. We don't know what communities they're in. And for the most part, they're not really hanging around us. They're hanging around their own little clubs and enclaves on the other side of town somewhere. Again, look at the video of the situation with the lady. It's a bunch of people standing around with accents. Niggas dress weird. Uh, it, it's a weird looking setting that foundational black Americans, that's some shit we wouldn't even rock with. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it. Let's keep it at uh, uh, 300. Just looking at that setting. We wouldn't even be around no shit like that. We wouldn't be around no shit like that. Just the vibe. The, the women look musty. The dudes look dusty. Just keep it a buck. I'm not even trying to be mean. It looked too dusty for us. Ain't nobody got no swag. Well, we wouldn't even be around that shit. So don't even make us responsible for something like that. Because we wouldn't be around it in the first damn place. <clears throat> Let's get um Ice Trey in here. Ice Trey, hop on, man. Ice Trey? All right. So while we're waiting on Ice Tray, we'll get um, Real Deal Cobb. What's up, Tariq? Really nice. It's Cobb. Uh, Cobb. I, pre I appreciate Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. Now, Cobb, you from uh, Ethiopia? No, sir. No, sir. I'm actually, my parents, My I mean, I'm, I'm Ghanaian. My, both my parents from Ghana. My older sisters are from Ghana. Got um, I've been listening. Yeah, be, yeah, I've been listening to you speak. I've, I've been, you know, I, I, I'm familiar with you know, all your stuff for like the past couple of years, you know, I agree with, I agree with a lot of stuff that you're saying, you know, just even this whole situation right here, just learning more and more about the situation with the young lady. 
that got that got hit with a brick. I didn't I didn't know she was af- of African descent. Um, yeah, I immediately knew. But go ahead. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, I'm I'm hearing you speak. I'm saying you know you know a lot of the guys a lot of the guys over there are from you know African descent. You know they didn't they just sat there and watched. And you know in in the past a lot of Af- I, I get it. There's a lot of African guys right that have that type of mindset where they you know they're very abusive towards their women and stuff you know i hear yeah i hear the whole yeah. i hear the whole tether thing and all that i get conflicted i hear that i'm like dang because like i really like i really be listening to you like i'm like okay like because i a lot of a lot of intellect you have like i, I implemented myself you know what i'm saying i try to be you know i try to keep myself keep myself informed about a lot of things i was born in the states i went to school yeah. here and everything and all that so i'm kind of i'm more into the the american coach than i am the Ghanaian coach but i'm very I'm 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 very I'm very locked in with the African culture and a lot of the stuff that you said, right? That a lot of you say FBA guys, right? If they're in that situation, that when it went down like that, the way I grew up, right? In the African men, like the men I've been around, that is the same way. So I'm hearing that, I'm like, hey, like I want to know if it's a, you. I mean, I don't know because it to me, in my perspective, it sounds a little bit disingenuous. However, I get I get the premise of what you're saying because she did. No, no. What sounds disingenuous about it? Ma, hold on. It's the fact that it's the fact that you're saying that that all of like all you know this is pretty much how all African men like this is how they this is how they move this is how they are you know no, what I'm no, never said that I never said that but go ahead you know what I'm I, I I may I may have came late I may have came late so I apologize okay all right thank you okay okay thank you brother because yeah when you start saying stuff that's just not false now we're not going to get into that i won't even dignify that i've never said all african men i've never said that at all never said all no 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 when y'all start making up an argument now we can't do that now i'm not going to even entertain that yeah of course all african people don't do that but over there in y'all society a lot of that is accepted all right come over there in east africa hell y'all be the forced female circumcisions there's some weird some culturally weird shit that goes on between the men and women that's real different all right culturally <clears throat> there's some weird shit that goes on we just got to keep it a buck on that all right and then uh, y'all bring that same energy over here the, over there in west africa too we've seen some of the videos y'all will stomp down on a woman in the streets real quick. I've been seeing videos of y'all beating the women with switches and sticks in the streets. Yeah, some parts of Africa, these women, they show up with their burqa off or whatever. They get in a tree beaten. So let, let's let's not play games, all right? Let's not play games. Y'all will give a shoe beaten and a tree beaten at the drop of a hat over there, and it seems culturally acceptable, all right? Let's keep it a buck. Now, I'm not saying all of y'all do it, but yeah, a lot of that stuff seems very acceptable. And then over here, dudes ain't got no problem picking up a damn brick on a woman. And then y'all talking about, hey, where's the black community? Y'all dragging us into some of that weirdo ass stuff. And we're saying, nah, 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 nah. This ain't a, this is not an FBA issue here, buddy. Sir Major, what's up, brother? Get my brother Sir Major in here. Oh, sir, turn your microphone on, bro. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. What's Appreciate up, you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, man, that, that, that video with that tether woman, we definitely knew off top she was not a black American. Uh, she's not a foundational black American. But, you know, I didn't see those other videos, so I appreciate you bringing this to the light. I, it makes me want to take down the video, which so, somewhat supports her. However, uh, I think people need to see that tether and tether uh, violence, man. Yeah, man. You know what? Uh, and, and the thing is, I don't. I hate that. You know, the woman got hit with a brick. That's just not cool. Hitting woman with a brick. That's not cool at all. Nobody's co-signing that. You know, that's just not cool at all. Nobody's co-signing that. But what y'all won't do is make this an issue where you're dragging us in it, and then it gets dumped on blackness. Because then that falls on us. Because we, as foundational black Americans, we are the black community by default. Whereas when you do something constructive, 
it ain't the black community. It's the Somalian, it's the Haitian, it's the Caribbean, it's the Eritrean, it's, the, it's all of these other communities. And this woman in particular, she has several videos where she's bigging up all types of African cultures as opposed to foundational black American culture. Because there's videos of her shitting on black American women. That's why a lot of people are like, hey, wait a minute. Even sisters are like, eh, wait a minute now. Her talking about cisgendered women. Yeah, the woman is, she has a bunch of videos where we see what her ideology is. And that woman clearly has differentiated herself from us. She has several videos where she's made it very clear. She's not a black American. She's, we're not the same. She's been loud and proud about that until that brick got to her. So now we all black and everybody black got to help me. You see? So th I think that's where a lot of people are like, hey, we need to really have this conversation here. All right. But anyway, let's let's discuss among yourselves, family. I, you know, I just wanted to, to chop up game about that right now. But then we'll, we'll chop up later, man. But look, go to my YouTube channel, Tariq Radio, subscribe.